Welcome to the World Heritage Site, City of Bath. In this video we show several most remarkable sites to visit in the city, and also share our experience of staying in a hostel for the first time. So, let's get started. Bath is the largest city in Somerset, England, known for and named after its Roman-built baths. The city was founded in the 1st century AD by the Romans who used the natural hot springs as a thermal spa. Visiting the Roman bath is perhaps the main attraction in the city. Archaeological evidence shows that the site of the Roman bath's main spring may have been treated as a shrine by the Britons and was dedicated to the goddess Sulis, whom the Romans identified with Minerva. The name Sulis continued to be used after the Roman invasion, appearing in the town's Roman name, Aqui Sulis. The remains of the Roman bath are remarkably complete and include sculpture, coins, jewelry, and the bronze head of the goddess Sulis Minerva. Visitors from all around the world come to Bath to see this beautiful historical site. Next to the Roman Bath there is a gorgeous building of the Abbey Church of St. Peter and St. Paul, commonly known as Bath Abbey. Founded in the 7th century as a monastery, it was reorganized in the 10th century into a Benedictine monastery, and rebuilt in the 12th and 16th centuries. During the dissolution of the monasteries in the 16th century, the church was stripped of iron, glass, and 4,800 pound worth of lead and left to decay. In 1574, Queen Elizabeth I promoted the restoration of the church, and ordered that a national fund should be set up to finance the work. The restoration work on the abbey, financed by Montague, was completed by 1611. The building that we see today, was restored again in 19th century. The Bath Abbey is a Grade 1 listed building, particularly noted for its fan vaulting. If you'd like to visit the abbey, there is no entry fee. Donations though are highly appreciated. Just around the corner there is a small, most centrally situated park, named Parade Gardens. Originally known as St. James's Park, it was laid out in 1709 to accompany assembly rooms for spa visitors. Overlooking the River Avon, they give fine views of Potney Bridge and the Weir. territory there is also cafe. Parade Gardens is open to the public at a small charge, from 10am to 6pm. Unfortunately, the access to colonnades is closed, so we try to pick the best views of the river and bridge from any possible site in the gardens. From Parade Gardens we moved to the Pulteney Bridge and the Weir on Avon. This picturesque horseshoe weir was first built in the 1600s to prevent flooding in the town of Bath. The weir, a low barrier built across a river in order to control water level and regulate flow, was completely rebuilt in the early 1970s and given a more effective and now iconic V-shaped design. Just upstream from the weir is Pulteney Bridge, constructed in the early 1770s. The bridge was designed by Robert Adam and named after William Jones Tone and Francis Pulteney. They secured the funding from Parliament, so they named the bridge after themselves. The Pulteney Bridge is one of only four bridges worldwide with shops across the full span on both sides. It's a beautiful place to walk, shop, and sightsee. The view from above the weir and bridge is breathtaking. Bath has up to 1.3 million yearly visitors, making it one of 10 English cities visited most by overseas tourists. Everyone can find lots of things to do in this gorgeous city. There are over 40 museums, restaurants, quality shopping centers, theaters, spas and thermal spas. 
canal boat tours and guided city tours, and many many other things to experience. The city itself looks like an open-air museum with its Georgian architecture. We have walked the city's streets until night. Bath nightlife is not less saturated than day life. People come to streets and enjoy their time as everyone can and wants. The city streets and landmarks are beautifully illuminated waiting for those with cameras. When day was over, we arrived to outstay place. This time it was YMCA Hostel. Little disclaimer. We love to experience something new all the time, and stay option is just another experience that we can compare, share, and remember for future. There have been many different stays in our list, from sleeping in the car to luxury hotels. But we never tried a hostel until today. First, when we arrived, a nasty surprise was already waiting for us. The hostel didn't receive our money from booking.com, and we had to pay again. But in the next three days this problem was resolved, and we got our overpaid money back. Let's go and see the room. What we can see? Room is clean. Let's have a look. Room is not clean at all. Let's see the buff. Oh, yeah, that's clean. You see? They try to clean. Unsuccessful. You see, guys. Someone was in this bathroom before us. We don't have any towels in the room. Let's check. Maybe here. No, it's empty. It cost 65 pounds. 73. Sorry, 73 pounds. 68 and 5 room charge. What is the room charge? I don't know what it's for. Right. Doesn't matter. Maybe we need to clean this room ourselves. Welcome to Bath. Beautiful view. Roof. Bath is, Bath is nice. Yeah, the city is nice. You can't see anything from these dirty windows. What can I say at the end? Mattress was really good. To me, it's essential for the sleep quality. Price £58 per night for two adults. Maybe for bath these conditions are all right, who knows. I just can tell that previous night we slept in Airbnb beautiful, clean, nicely equipped room for just £42, but in Swindon. So, guys try to make a wise decision. We are finishing for now. If you found this video worth to watch, let us know in the comments below. Your support really matters to us. Thank you for watching.